I hate fractions so much. Hate, hate, hate fractions so much. And in order to hancho this thing, I don't like the fraction. Take away the two and three. This is all what I'm going to teach everybody. Hello everybody, Leongji Mathematics here. Today it's about two variables. The previous few videos, basic, one variable, single fractions, all those hard ones, done. Today, two variables, two variables, yeah. And there will be two methods. Number one, I'm going to put this word called substitution. And the next method, I'm going to use rate, and I'll place it over here and write it as elimination. Yeah, so there will be two methods here. Okay, everyone, so substitution, elimination, and of course another one called graphical. It will be on the next video. And I'm going to write this one question over here where I will use two different methods to solve it. And this one question over here being 2m plus 5n equals to 9. And m plus 2n equals to 6. So I'm going to write it on both sides, okay, everyone? So, of course, I'll be doing it one by one. Okay, so first of all, I'll be solving using the substitution way, where that will be like, uh, every case you have to use it, like uh, form 4, form 5 mathematics, your add maths, you're going to use all these substitution method. Okay, everyone, so what is the meaning of substitution? Look at the word sub. Ah, the word sub means what? The word sub means replace. I'm going to write the word replace. Ah, replace. Or maybe in... In BM, we will say the word ganti, right? Are we going to replace something? Replace. Now, so the first thing, you got to know two variables meaning two unknowns here, two different unknowns. And look at these two different unknowns. And of course, the first thing in your mind when you do two variables, uh, there will be two equations helping each other. Uh, two equations helping each other. So how are you going to solve this? Okay, first of all, let's straight go into the methods instead of like, drag what's the meaning what is it about the history everything i will skip it okay let's go into how to solve it okay so first of all we're going to put like this equation number one and equation number two and of course a normal question in form one right normally they put it in this state sometimes they might jumble up then you have to rearrange into this form it depends on situation now. so let's say it's like this and Everyone, in Form 1 situation, we always search for what? We search for unknowns, you see? Look at all the given unknowns. Uh. Okay, already I said, uh, two, two equations, you're going to be help, helping each other. And so always when you start, you select equation. You select equation where the unknown shows 1. Or maybe some of you might say coefficient 1. Uh, coefficient 1. So that would be the number one right okay or maybe negative one ah. so it depends so i'm going to start with this i'll write from equation number two you have to write nicely you know so for every parts so from equation number two sorry m plus 2n equals to 6 ah so m equals to 6 minus 2n and student will say this thing on teacher why are uh, why purposely you going to change like uh the equation into another format the reason being Look at the word replace. Replace means you have to ganti. Uh, you have to take it. Uh, amazing. Okay, let's look at this case. Uh. Can you see m plus 2n equals to 6? And once I move the plus 2n over, and do you notice it's sort of like reconvert into a so-called fake. What do I mean by fake? Fake m answer because suppose m is an actual uh, integer number, right? Or maybe it's a fraction, it depends. Uh. So it's a fake, fake answer where there is n inside. So I'm going to do this, you know. Hey, I got an n answer the fake n answer i'm going to take this f uh, fake answer m answer and replace it into what i'm going to replace it into number one that's why i say is like helping each other so i stop with number two right i take number two i rearrange into m answer and i take that so-called m answer and i replace it over here so I replace it over here and, and, and look at this and see what happened. Huh? So you're going to sub your number three answer. By the way, all this numbering, right, is to show your teacher uh, nicely la, huh? what, what are the things that you're going to replace inside. So it replaced number three into the first one. Look at this. You look at this arrow over here. So two, m it will be six minus two n, right? Then plus five n equals to nine. Everybody, 
do you notice? Do you notice the so-called M original in equation number one? It already replaced with M. And once you replace it with M, and do you notice it becomes like the normal one unknown related, one variable related equation, you see? You left like one unknown to solve. So that's why substitution, it makes more sense. If I say you learned this before, right? When you compare, it makes a bit more sense uh, because it's like helping each other just to help help you in solving like one of the unknown. Okay, so everyone, so let's distribute inside. Distribute, distribute. So you will get like 12 minus 4n plus 5n equals to 9. So you're going to solve this thing. Okay, minus 4n plus 5n, you will be n. And this plus 12 bring over, you get a minus, right? So 9 minus 12. I'm writing all the extra, extra workings, everyone. So everyone, so 9 minus 12, you get minus 3. Done. Do you notice you solve n really? So sort of like make more sense, uh, okay? So now you're going to sub this answer. So sub n equals to negative 3 into which one? Into, can you see just now your equation number 3 halfway there already? The fake answer now becomes the real answer. So m equals to 6 minus 2 and your n being negative 3, right? So m equals to 6. These two answers, you times it, you get a plus 6, right? So m equals to 12. So everyone, done. Of course, you have to write nicely. Huh? So therefore, n equals negative 3, comma, m equals to 12. Guys, this is the so-called substitution actual way of writing it. Uh, so I spend more time like uh, uh, mentioning the, the flow, writing extra workings, just to make sure you know what's the meaning of sub. Sub means you replace it. Uh, sub means you replace. So everything like the numbering, the word sub, you have to write nicely so that your teacher know what you are doing. Okay, so that's called substitution and now we're going to go into elimination. So everybody, elimination, how are we going to do it? Okay, this is what we do it. The word eliminate, elimination, it comes from the word eliminate. Okay, or maybe I will draw this like parang over here. Lah. So what is the meaning of parang? Parang means you have to chop off. Uh, so you have to chop off one of the unknown. So everyone, so M and over here, right? So which one are you going to chop it off? So it depends on situation. So your, your first thing in your mind is in order to chop off one of the unknown M or maybe N, there's a few conditions that you have to met. First, you must make sure, you see, I draw some lines up. M and M is together, N, N is together and equals to another side, which is without unknown. And once you place it this way, right, my first thing to you, in order to eliminate, and why do I put a parang? Because you're going to use this parang, which is the so-called plus and minus, you're going to chop off one of it by using plus minus again, uh, by using plus minus. But in order to use plus minus, student will scratch the head. Teacher, what do you mean? So this is what it means. You're going to make sure first, equation number one, equation number two, in order to chop off, you're going to make sure one of the unknown that you select. So let's say for this case, I'm going to select M. Ah, why do I select M? Because I'm going to multiply the whole equation with two. And once I do that, okay, let, let's let's do it this way. Huh? I'm going to multiply the whole thing with you, you know. So m times 2, you get 2m. Plus 2n times 2, you get plus 4n. 6 times 2, you get equals to 12. So now it becomes a new equation called 3. Or maybe some of you might put 2a. La, uh, because it's come from number 2, right? So everyone, this number 3 is actually the number 2. But I already double, double the whole thing. So I'm going to rewrite the number 1 here, 2m plus 5n equals to 9. And this will be equation number 1. So I draw a line to separate it. Okay, student might say, teacher, how if my number 1 is on top? It's the same thing, guys. So I'm going to do, uh, how say, do some lines here to separate a bit. And now I'm going to ask, everyone, take this parang, chop off this thing. But before you chop, you're going to ask yourself, 2m and 2m, how do you eliminate? Do you know what's the meaning of eliminate, guys? It means uh, you're going to hanchurkan, musnakan, make that M disappear. So how do you disappear it? Use parang chop off. Ah, so how are you going to chop off? Like what I mentioned, you're going to use plus minus. So everyone, for this case, 2M, 2M, minus, gone. 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 Right? Ah, so plus 4N, minus plus, minus. So minus and plus, you get minus. So plus 4n minus 5n, you're going to get minus n equals to 12 minus 9, you will get 3. So therefore, n equals minus 3. 
done. Can you see it's the same answer? And it will be way shorter. So personally, I will recommend students to use elimination because it will be way, way, way faster. But you need to master your substitution for your form four purpose. Either, either modern maths or maybe add maths, same thing. You're going to make sure you master your substitution. But during now, PT3, it's better to use elimination because it will be way, way, way faster. Okay, now, you're going to put like sub n equals minus 3 into 1 of the 1, 2, 3, 1 of it. So let's say I sum into number 2. Lah. Uh, so you can sum into either one. Lah. So m plus 2 minus 3 equals to 6. m, this thing you're going to get minus 6 equals to 6. m equals to 6 plus 6. m equals to 12. Done. So that's how you're going to do your elimination. Okay. So everybody... Now, we're already done with one type of question. We're going to do the second type of question. Okay, now I'm going to show you like after what we have done, like substitution and elimination. And I'm going to do like one question where it looks kind of hard. It's actually something simple. It just looks a bit deceiving. Okay, let me write down the question first. The question looks like this. P over 2 plus Q over 3 equals to 3. And P over 4 plus 2Q over 3 equals to 3. Okay, everyone, it looks weird. And I already say I hate fractions so much. Hate, hate, hate fractions so much. And in order to hancho this thing, I don't like the fraction. Take away the 2 and 3. This is all what I'm going to teach everybody. Okay, instead of writing the 1, equation 1, equation 2, like what I did just now, you see, in your substitution and elimination, just now I put like 1 and 2, 1 and 2, right? Like standard, right? Not. So before I even start that 1 and 2, I'm going to remove the 2 and 3 by multiplying a certain number, just like what I did for my elimination just now. Okay, this is what I'm going to do, every, everyone. Take the whole equation times with a certain number to take away the 2. So, what do I mean by take away the 2? The so-called simplify. Uh, when I multiply with a certain number, I'm going to simplify with the divide 2 below, right? I'm going to times with 2 and 3's common multiple. It will be 6. So, 4 and 3, what's the common multiple? Common multiple means uh, when you do their multiples, which number shows like a uh, common one? It will be 12. Student will say, teacher, 24 can not can. Because you can simplify 4 and 3 with 24. You can simplify 4 and 3 with 72, for example. Oh, yeah, you can do that. But but of course, we go for lowest. Uh, go for lowest. So 2 and 6, you can go for 6, right? You want to go for uh, 18 also can, but don't do that. Okay, Do something like lowest common multiple, LCM. Okay, so this is called LCM. Now. So I'm going to go for like something smaller. Now, so once I do that, now it becomes a new equation really. Now, everyone, I'm going to tell you something. Students, in this case, uh, student will ask like, teacher, you will use substitution or elimination. So in a particular question, right, I didn't really see like they force you to do one method except for graphical method, which is the third one. Uh, okay, so in this case, I will choose one of it. So Everyone, in the end, you know what I will choose to the end. I will go for elimination. Never mind, you will see in a while, okay? Now, so I will times everything with 6, guys. So, P over 2 times 6. Student will say, hey, teacher, the P over 2 is actually what? Huh? The P over 2 is like this. Okay, everyone, see. P over 2 is actually 1 over 2P, you know? So, it will be 1 over 2 lah. Uh, P over 2 is 1 over 2P, right? So, I need the 1 over 2, you know, because I need to take 1 over 2 times 6. So, 1 over 2 times 6, it will be 3. Ah, uh, So, of course, you don't have to purposely use a calculator uh, just to show you. So, it will be 3P. Uh, then, plus Q over 3, it will be 1 over 3. So, in your calculator, you will do like 1 over 3. La. So, 1 over 3. Okay, okay. Then, you equal first. Uh, then, you times 6. So, you get 2. La. So, it will be plus 2. Uh, then, of course, 3 times 6, there are no need, uh, you get 18. So, that becomes my first equation. Can you see? It becomes whole number. It becomes integer. It will be easier for you to handle. Uh, that's the reason why I do that. So, I will do the same thing here, you know. I will, I will, I will times 12. So, 1 over 4 times 12, you get 3P. Are you teacher, can you see that? 3P and 3P. That's what I need. Elimination, guys. Uh, so, plus 2Q over 3 times 12. Uh, if you don't know, then you just take calculator. Uh, 2 over 3, you get the fraction already, you times with 12, you get 8. 
Ah, uh, then you put that eight. So plus eight Q equals to three and twelve. You get thirty six. Huh? Okay. So once you get this, everyone, already I told you that elimination. You need to make sure you get like two same number so that you can eliminate them. Guys, confirm ready. Elimination. Okay, I'm gonna go for elimination. Okay, so like standard one. That's why I say most of the time elimination is like best fast. So I'm gonna draw a line. Okay, so I'm gonna use like a pencil to separate a bit, lah. Huh? Separate a bit. Everyone, tell me, three p and three three p. You put a minus, gone. Correct, right? Of course, just like I missed out one very important working, you know. So everyone, I'm gonna write it over here. Go to tell your teacher, you know. Take the third equation minus the first equation. You see, third minus the first. You see. Third minus first. Ah, so you do the same thing here. First minus second. So this one gone already, right? So plus two q, minus and plus stays minus. If you don't know, then you take your calculator lah. Then you put lah plus two lah, so plus two lor. And then minus plus or minus plus, so you can do that, right? And then eight lor. Minus q, ah minus six lah, right? So you can do that. So minus six q. So eighteen minus thirty six. I don't know. You put lah eighteen minus thirty six. You get minus eighteen. Then you put that minus eighteen. Then you see, cut, cut, gone. So Q equals to eighteen divided by six, right lah. So Q equals to eighteen divided by six, to you. Right not. Ah, so you get a Q answer already. So once you get a Q answer, then you sub inside lah. So sub Q equals to three into what? Into your. You want to put like this one also can. This one also can. This one also can. This one also can. Up to you. So let's say I put 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 in the first one. Okay, so I put in the first one. So three P plus two times three. You see. The Q is already replaced with three, right? So equals to eighteen. So three P, right? Extra working, right? So plus six equals to eighteen. So three P equals to eighteen minus six. Three P extra, everyone. This one you get twelve. So P equals to four. Done. So therefore, P equals to four. Q equals to three. Gone. So that's how you solve like harder version. But of course, student will say, "And teacher, ah, school question is like sentence based." Yes. So some of the question is like hot question related, right? They will give you sentence, then you have to form your own equation, then you have to solve it, and that will be our hot question series. So this one is about basics. So that's how you're gonna solve it, everyone. Let's stay tuned for the next video where I talk about what. Next video, I'm gonna talk about uh three different calculators. How you're gonna use it to check your answer. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna stop here.